Okay, a narrow coil of 10 turns, 10 turns, and diameter of 4 cm is placed perpendicular. Okay, perpendicular to the uniform magnetic field. Okay, uniform magnetic field of 1.2 Tesla. Okay, uh, this one first, uh, first of all, you must see that the coil is perpendicular to the field. That means like that. So if the field is, uh, if this is the field, okay, the coil is perpendicular. Ah, uh, this is the coil or the plane, yeah, the, or, or the coil, okay. Uh, so, uh, what we can see from here is uh, the normal, the normal is, the normal is parallel to the field, uh, okay. So, the theta is zero, okay. Theta is zero because the normal, the normal, the normal is uh, parallel to the field. The plane is perpendicular to the field, but the normal is parallel to the field. So, the theta is zero, okay. Now, uh, after 0 0.25 second, okay, first uh, I write down the information. So, this is the end, and this is the diameter. This is the, this is the field. This is the field. And this is delta T, 0 0.25 second. The diameter has increased to 5.3 cm. Oh, so this is the initial diameter and this is the final diameter. Yeah? There is a changes in area, changes in the diameter. Okay, so causes a changes of area. So why is the change of area of the coil? The first question is asked for change of area. Change of area. And then the next thing is he asked is the coil has resistance 2.4 ohm. Okay, this is the R. Determine the induced current, okay, the induced current in the coil. So, he asked for induced current, okay. Alright, so the information given uh, is uh, written here. The number of turns, uh, magnetic field, and the theta is 0 degree, okay, because the normal area is parallel to the magnetic field, okay. Now, uh, and the initial diameter is 4 cm, final diameter is 5.3 cm. Okay, remember the uh, SI unit centimeter need to change to, uh, sorry, the centimeter need to change to SI unit. Yeah, centi is negative 2. Yeah, and it's the time taken for the change happening. Okay, so the first question asks for the change of area. So, change of area is, uh, uh, we know that. Uh, change of area is uh, the final area minus the initial area. Okay. Uh, and we have the diameter, uh, initial diameter and final diameter. So here we first can find the area yeah, based on the diameter. So, um, okay. So the initial area, okay, just use the formula pi d squared over 4. Okay, and then we will get the value of 1.2566 uh, exponent negative 3 meter cube, a eh, meter square, sorry. Okay, SI unit. And then the final diameter also, we use the same formula for uh, circles. So the area is uh, pi d square over 4, and we will get 2.2062. Uh, exponent negative 3 meter square okay so the change of area the change of area is uh, just use the final area minus the initial area uh, 2.2062 exponent negative 3 minus the 1.2566 exponent negative 3 and the final answer we will get 9.49 Nine six exponent uh, negative four uh, meter square. Okay, so this is the change of area. Okay, the change of area. So uh, the area, the coil area has changed. So there will be induced EMF. Yeah, uh, 
uh, because there's a change of flux. So uh, the second question B, he asks, uh, he gives the resistance is 2.4 ohm and asks about the induced current. So to find induced current, first we need to find the uh, induced EMF. Okay, induced EMF is equal to the formula negative because the magnetic field is constant. Magnetic field is constant, but just the area changing. So we use the formula magnetic field constant. B is constant. Area is changing. Area is changing. Okay, and then um, and then uh, sine zero because uh, the the sorry cos zero because the uh, normal area is parallel to magnetic field. Okay, cos zero. So uh, just substitute the formula. Okay, so uh, the you the values. Okay, so n is 10, uh, b is 1.2, and then db, dA dt is, uh, okay, we have the change of area, dA, 9.496, exponent negative 4, and then we have the change of time, okay, we have the change of time, 0 0.25, okay, uh, finally, we will get a value negative 0 0.0455808. Remember to maintain as many uh, decimal places as possible. Uh, we want to get accurate answer. Okay, 45808 volts. Okay, uh, and then uh, we can neglect the negative sign. Eh? Uh, we can neglect the neg because uh, we just want the value. We can neglect the uh, negative. We can neglect the negative sign because we just want the magnitude. So E induced will be equal to I induced R. Okay, E equal to I R. So 0 0.045 can neglect the negative sign. 0.45508 uh, equal to I induce resistance. So resistance is uh, oh, 2.4. Okay, so I induce is uh, uh, 0 0.019 ampere. Okay, so this is the magnitude of induced current.